do you think Paul had the right idea? We, here's what we do. We look at Paul and we say, Paul was a great man of God. No, he wasn't. Paul was a flaky, flaky person who found the... Re- and he, he, he said it. He said it. He said, you know, I did this. Where was I? I was preaching somewhere. And I, I used this example. Oh, yeah, we were in Mexico, and you were my, my Jesus when I had you stand up there. I mean, he was standing up there as Paul. And I said, well, let's interview Paul right now. You know, let's find out from his mind if he's such a great man. And I said, how is it that you've been able to go around the world and to uh, raise up so many churches? I stuck the mic up to, to uh, Jonathan's mouth, and he represented Paul, and he said, I am crucified with Christ. Well, how is it that you've been able to win so many souls to Jesus? I'm crucified with Christ. Well, how is it that you, you know, so-and-so, I'm crucified. And I finally, I said, so what is this abundance then if you're, if you're just dead? And he said, I no longer live. Christ lives in me. Paul wasn't a great man. He'll tell you, I'm not a great man. That's why I needed to die. What a blessing the cross is, folks. What a blessing the truth is. Instead of all of this feeding our flesh and puffing us up and making us think we're something, when we are the darkness and when we are garbage and when we are maggots in ourselves and and trying to convince what God took to the cross to destroy, trying to convince that, that it's of God and really special. You know, I mean, it's like this... Night of the living dead person walking up with maggots out their mouth and nose and everything. Uh, uh, here I am, Lord. I'm your servant. <laughs> and the Lord says, go back to the grave, get in it, and pull the dirt down around you. And when my son comes forth to you, you'll see resurrection. In the meantime, quit trying to be in resurrection when you ain't the part I raised. There's nothing spiritual about the walls or anything here. If something's going to be spiritual, it's going to be you. <laughs> and if something's not, that'd be you too. <laughs> you know, the choice is yours, but what's the choice? The choice is... You know, I'm a zombie that doesn't like to be bumped into, or the choice is, I am a son of God. I'm a priest that gives the Father the acceptable sacrifice that he wants in these circumstances. 